In this video, I'm going to show you how to very easily export your contacts from your Microsoft Outlook account into a .csv file, uh, which can then be uploaded to the Response Magic autoresponder into one of your lead magnets. Um, this particular video is going to be focusing on Microsoft Outlook version 2010. If you have an earlier version of Microsoft Outlook or you use the free Outlook Express, uh, how to export will be a bit different and uh, you can certainly find instructions for that online. In this case I'm going to use the most widely used version which is 2010. It can be a bit hidden so it can be hard to find unless you know where to look for it. Uh, what you do is you log into your Outlook, ex Outlook account and uh, you, you usually end up on start on the home button which shows all your folders and your current email inbox. Uh, what you need to do is click on the file tab at the top and then go down to the options button. And this is going to bring up a pop-up window uh, for your options. And then you get a whole bunch of options down the side here. You need to go to Advanced. So like I said, it's a bit hidden unless you know where to look for it. So I'm going to click on Advanced. And then you're going to see this down here, Export. So look for the blue and green arrow for Export. And you click on the Export button. And now Microsoft is going to give you a whole bunch of different options. And you may not know which one to choose. Uh, but what we're going to do is you want to choose the export to a file option. So uh, it can be a bit confusing unless you know exactly which one you're looking for and it's export to file. And then you click on the next button. And now it's going to ask you, okay, well, what kind of file are you going to export your data to? And you want to choose the comma separated value. Um, you can either choose DOS or Windows. Uh, either will work. We're going to choose Windows for this, and that'll export it into a CSV that's compatible with um, your Excel spreadsheets as well. And then we're going to click Next. And then you just choose uh, which folder uh, you're going to export. So in this case, you want to, so it, by default you can see it's chosen my inbox. Now I don't want to export my inbox. It'll export all of my, all of my emails. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to export my contacts, which is a choice further up. You may need to scroll up or down to get to that contacts uh, area. So you click on contacts, and then you hit next. And then it's going to ask you, okay, well, where are you going to save it? So I'm just going to go ahead and type in a name and save it to my computer. And then on the next screen after you browse and select where you're going to save it on your computer, it's going to ask you if you want to uh, to map the custom field. So you might have stored some data um, for your custom or for your contacts such as maybe um, their birthday or their job or a cell phone or something like that that you want to map differently. So you can click on this and it will give you you know an example of the type of contacts that you have in there and you can map the fields. And it's just going to set up the columns in your spreadsheet or the, the comma separated values of your spreadsheet. Uh, once you have it mapped, uh, you hit finish. It'll do it automatically for you. Um, so you don't have to do that unless you have some very specific custom fields. And then you hit finish. And then it's going to export. And depending on how many contacts you have, it can take, you know, very quickly or it can take a couple minutes. Um, and then it will save it to your computer and you're ready to go.